Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Darth Vader, the Mattel Classics Kenner Line Rubber Red Rex, and the 3-0 DLX Optimus Prime from Transformers The Last Night. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool selection of figures I found. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a closer look at them, starting with the Darth Vader. Okay, so with this being my second uh, Star Wars action figure that I own, uh, especially specifically from the Black Series, I gotta say that I, I think that this is pretty cool. Uh, it's the articulation is not the best like it's kind of hard to get him to any other pose But then again, I guess with Darth Vader. That's kind of to be expected Uh, he you know, I mean while being stiff I mean he doesn't really do a lot of acrobatic dynamic poses in the movie so and I would much rather you know I'd much rather he, you know, be much, you know, be kind of like the movie than him doing Iron Man poses or anything like that. Even though that would be kind of cool and it would be awesome to have that, you know, mobility. It's just something that it doesn't seem necessary. Uh, the painting and sculpting is very basic, but again, it's accurate to the movie or in this case, the TV show. Uh, and yeah, and I mean, I was surprised to see how kind of tall he is compared to the Obi Wan figure. He's actually very tall. Um, and just overall, I mean, there's not a lot to say about this guy, but I mean, I will say, I mean, what is there? I mean, it's really solid. It's a really cool little, uh, at, at representation of Obi, or not Obi-Wan, from Darth Vader. Uh, and I just, I just really like how this guy, you know, he just kind of has a presence on the shelf. The cloth cape isn't my personal favorite. Again, it's just a little too big on him, but you know kind of like the obi well, the obi one uh growth robe was but this is still you know it's still pretty cool and it's still cool to have it kind of drape over him in some positions and get him some kind of cool looking poses with the cape but yeah overall that that's about it uh let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories so for his accessories all he comes with is the lightsaber hilt and the red blade to make up the lightsaber um and that and like i said that's about it but i did want to add in here's the little robot that obi-wan kind of you know or that leia has with obi-wan in the show uh, i just want to show because i forgot to show that off last time with obi-wan but yeah that's like i said that's about it he just comes with his lightsaber which is still pretty cool but yeah and his articulation, like I said, it's pretty standard, a little limited, but it's okay. Mine's was a little stiff, but I think that's just because mine came in kind of like already opened. Uh, still in the box, but everything just kind of felt loose or stiff. But still, articulation is pretty standard. And here are just a few poses I kind of got him in. Taking a look at some size comparisons, here he is with Obi-Wan from Star Wars The Black Series. Marvel Legends Iron Man from Avengers Endgame. McFarlane Toys Superman from Zack Snyder's Justice League. And Haya Toys Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. So that about does it for this figure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next figure, which is the Rubber Red Rex from Mattel. Taking a look at the Red Rex, uh, at least this version by Mattel, it's actually, in my opinion, really, really cool. Uh, I know a lot of people always have a soft spot for the original one. I, I don't own it, and I wasn't, in, like, uh, young enough to kind of, like, own it back in the day. But I gotta say, with this one, I actually was really surprised. I actually just thought that it was gonna be just the body that was gonna be rubber, uh, and everything else was gonna be hard plastic. But I was actually very surprised to see that the tail and the arms, and even up to the head are all like rubber and then the only thing that's like actual plastic are the the legs and the uh the head which do make sense i do understand why those had to be kind of a harder plastic and i think it really works out uh, i think what's really cool is that even though they're dealing with a softer material the they're still able to get some really sharp really good looking details and even on the plastic pieces uh just like great pebble texture on like a lot of the skin and scale detail and everything like that the paint is very you know plain it's just kind of red and even like the yellow parts underneath and the uh uh striping on the tail like doesn't go all the way on the back doesn't go all the way down to the tip of the tail or the front of the neck or anything like that but with that said it's still really solid paint work and i think just overall it came out it just came out really good 
Uh, but yeah, and just uh, want to take a look at its articulation real quick. So this has the very, has very basic articulation, just like the other Rexes from Mattel. It has the hinge and swivel joints, but because it's rubber, it's also able to bend. It even has like a kind of this ball jointed uh, joint in the tail. Uh, it doesn't hold any poses, of course, but it's still really cool, and it has a cool gimmick where it can eat other small action figures. And while not an accessory, you have the scan code right here if you want to put this on the Jurassic Facts app, I believe it's called. And right here, I just wanted to show off the kind of cool gimmick that you can do, where if, uh, if there's a bun on the back, uh, on the hips, if you press it, it actually does the different roars, and let's check out some roars. And for some size comparisons, here he is with the Amber Collection Velociraptor, the Hammond Collection Gallimimus, the Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus, the Hammond Collection Velociraptor, the Hammond Collection Triceratops, the Hammond Collection T-Rex, and finally the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus. So that about does it for this figure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, which is the DLX Optimus Prime. So here's the DLX Optimus Prime, and I gotta say, this is a really, really awesome kind of like statuesque action figure. Um, I think the detail and the just the painting, it's it's really solid. The articulation is great. I really love all the little robot details and everything in there that they managed to put and kind of try and blend the articulation with with all that. Um, I do ha I before there was three zero there was three A and I do have their premium scale Optimus Prime one which I believe is twenty four inches I think it's like twelve or something like that so it's like half the size of that one but uh, with the reason why I wanted to get this one is because that 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 uh, premium scale one uh, it, it was starting to get to a point where like it's kind of taking a couple of fumbles and uh, falls here and there and. Uh, some pieces were starting to get loose, some pieces were falling off, I lost maybe one piece that's really bugging me. And so it just got to a point where instead of letting that thing just keep on suffering, I just put, I decided to uh, put, get whatever is good, you know, try and glue some things back together and basically just put it back in the box and I will have this out as display. And I think... Uh, I think, like I said, it's just it's it's a really it's a really good figure. It's definitely much smaller. It's a much smaller scale. So if that's something that you might not be into, you know, just keep that in mind. But even so, even being at a much smaller scale, comparing it to the bigger one, the all the details are practically there. Uh, the only thing I'd say is maybe like the articulation isn't as as strong but even so i mean you can get this guy in some pretty decent poses and the base that's included is really nice and just overall i think you know the accessories and everything i think this is a like if you know you're paying like 150 bucks and or practically 200 i think with shipping and all that stuff and but you're still getting a really solid collector's item that's practically identical to the movie i've heard some people say it's not 100 percent one for one but i i mean to, in my eyes this looks really close if not spot on now for some accessories he'll come with either his regular face plate or if you'd like uh the battle mask i pr personally prefer the face but it's all up to your choice and not only that but he comes with a really awesome display stand uh it's a little difficult to figure out at first but once you look at the instructions it is pretty cool you do have to kind of take the piece off if you want to like ratchet it around which is a little annoying but all you do is take a piece off his butt flap and then you just stick it on and he's on a base now along with that base he also comes with a variety of little accessories such as the little blade he used to kill try and kill bumblebee the pegs for their sword shield and everything to hold on to as well as a bunch of extra hands and he also comes with his sword and shield so for this segment of the video, I'm just showing kind of like how to put on the different accessories and there is a lot, it's almost overwhelming, but it does help 
when you put everything kind of together, it does really help complete the look of the figure. You can just put like, you know, the sword and shield, for example, you can put on his arms, on the back, just kind of give him like, you know, so if you want certain poses, you can kind of complete that look. And while they're small, I mean, it just, it goes a long way to helping the figure. And he also does come with different hands. Now I do remember with the premium scale, he had posable fingers, but with this, you gotta give him different hands to do stuff like hold the sword, which I'm not as big a fan of, but it still works out pretty well and it still helps a lot. Now, taking a look at the articulation, again, just like with the accessories, it's overwhelming. The amount of ways this thing can move and stuff, it's not as uh, thorough as the as the premium scale. You could really move that thing and almost almost every piece was movable. This is a little more, there's a little more static pieces, but even with that said, the amount of articulation joints, it, it's insane. I can't even really list them all. There's just too many for me to really say. Uh, but yeah, just almost about almost everything moves on this figure. Uh, and even you can look at the kind of the way the hips kind of move too. It's a very interesting system. Uh, just the way they really like kind of, you know, detail or like engineered this guy to kind of get, you know, so you get him in any pose. It's incredible. And this is one of those cases where I do really appreciate them giving you as much articulation because, you know, this is a very posable kind of character. Speaking of poses, he, let's check out some that I was able to get him into. Take a look at some size comparisons. Here's the 3.0 DLX Optimus with the 3A Premium Scale Optimus Prime. The NECA 12-inch 2014 Godzilla. Mattel's Classic Red Rex. The Reveltech Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. Studio Series Optimus Prime and Grimlock. And that's about it for this figure. Let's go ahead and end the video. So overall, these figures are actually pretty cool. The, obviously, the DLX Optimus Prime is the best, being that it's a premium kind of collectible. But even so, I'd still say that the Darth Vader, I, I think, is really solid. And the Mattel's Red Rex is actually really cool, too. Um, just great action figures all around. Uh, I think the Last Night Optimus being kind of like my personal favorite just because I really like that design. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea because there's no car parts or anything like that. It just kind of looks like a uh, just like a random sleek robot. But for me personally, I think that's what kind of appeals to me. I really like the night aesthetic. But yeah, overall, that's about it. And uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, check out my Instagram page, Giovanni Arts Collectibles, to keep both like my art or anything and, and my hobbies. And so yeah, that's about it. Thank y'all for watching the video and have a great day.